Hey you guys, it's Peter, and welcome to my channel, Peterisms, and I have a guest with me today, and that is Boo Radley. PB is actually sitting right down here too, but Boo Radley said, um, I think I want to be in a video. I have my SAG card as well. Boo Radley, are you happy to be in the video? <laughs> so anyway, um, I apologize for not uploading a video yesterday. <clears throat> I just wanted to put one thing out on all of my channels. Well, I put two videos out. I put one on my main channel, and then I put one out on my vlog. And then, you know, just relax, find some peace, find some serenity. And yesterday I was able to do that. So, uh, but today I wanted to talk about something that is paramount to my life. And it's actually a lesson that I've talked on here a lot about before. And I learned it from an Oprah Winfrey episode. Of course I did. You know, I always learned so much from Oprah. And it's something that I go back to a lot. And I just actually watched the video and I'm gonna link it below. So when you're done watching this, please go over there and watch the story unfold. And that is that, um, what do you do in your darkest moments to get through them? And, um, you know, she, at the beginning of it, the episode that I'm going to show, like, I'm going to link, this woman thanks Oprah for sharing her faith on there, you know? And faith is not something that I talk about on my channel a lot because it can be tricky, you know? Um, some people agree with you, some people don't. Coming from the attitude of a 12-step program, I am a firm believer that everybody has the right to belief or non-belief of whatever is out there. And um, if that didn't exist, that right, I wouldn't be sitting here today because I had to go through my own spiritual journey, my own spiritual process. But I'm sure that my beliefs differ a lot from Oprah's. But what she shared at the beginning there was that she has what's called sunrise faith, that she knows that the sun is going to rise the next day, right? And so even in her darkest moments, she says to herself, the sun will rise again tomorrow. This too shall pass. And um, it's a 12-step quote, you know, and I, I, tw I totally, totally believe that, you know, about when you are in your darkest moments, you know, this too shall pass. Like, this is nothing in comparison to what is really out there in the world. And um, I was thinking about this last night because I was driving around listening to my audiobook and just kind of in my head about some stuff. And I, uh, you know, I ran inside at this gas station to grab a water. And when I was coming out, I saw the newspaper sitting right there. And um, it was the local newspaper. And Boo Radley, what are you looking at? It was the local newspaper. And it was about this mother and this daughter and how they had been inseparable for 11 years because this daughter, who I think at the time was like 13 or 14, maybe, maybe she was 11, I don't know, had had major seizures, brain tumors, and um, a stroke. And that she now was getting ready to have this very, very serious operation. And I just stood there and I kind of read the front, you know, page of it and looked at the pictures of the mother and the daughter together smiling for the camera. And I, in that moment, I was like, you need to be real grateful for your life right now. Okay? Real, real grateful. And um, we forget that sometimes, right? We forget that pain is universal, but our levels of pain are different. And I've shared this on here. Well, actually, I think I've shared it in my vlog that I had a friend of mine that years ago, like I said to her, you know, like you need to find some gratitude in your life. And she said to me, I understand that, you know, I have a wonderful life. I don't have to work. I have a beautiful house, all this kind of stuff. But, you know, that I should be grateful and I don't, I'm not like a starving child and, you know, like, and I'm not dying tonight. But, you know, in my reality, I'm miserable. And in that moment, I was kind of, swayed to understand where she was coming from. And I think that's really important in life is that we put ourselves in other people's shoes, very much the Atticus Finch, you know, analogy, you know, you never really truly understand somebody until you walk around in their shoes. And what I felt for her at that time, and the lesson that I really gained from it was, um, you know, that I felt so bad for her that in her reality, she couldn't see out of it. What I feel now in response to that is I feel very sad for her that she can't find room for gratitude in her heart because gratitude is an action and gratitude is really a blessing in our lives. Gratitude is, you know, a reference point to everything else. And uh, I can't even imagine for one second what it's like to either be the parent of or the child who is getting ready to go have life-threatening surgery that you need to save your life. I, I can't even imagine that. And, um, you know, my, my prayers and thoughts go out to those people that have similar situations like that. 
Have I lived through misery like that in my life? Absolutely. And have I woken up the next day? Thankfully. But not all of us are promised that. Not all of us are promised another tomorrow. Um, and it's really what we do with this today. But in the grand scheme of things, one thing I have learned, okay, is that um, better things will come. And this is the whole idea of when you are going through a dark moment in your life or something that you can't see on the other side of, to look up and say thank you. And, and in, the, in the video that I'm going to link, she says I, that Maya Angelou, she'd be like bawling in her bathroom and t talking to Maya on the phone. And she would say, you know, like, I don't know what I'm supposed to say thankful for. And she says, say thankful because this too shall pass and you will be better having gone through it. And, you know, when I look at everything in my life that has happened to me, okay, from the breakups to the horrible relationships to my mo mother's illness to my addiction to, you know, starting careers and ending careers to all of the just little shit that I've had in my life, okay? The little shit sometimes will kill us more than the bigger shit will on a daily basis because it tears us down. You know, when I look at all of that stuff, you know, from the road rage one day to, you know, a package not being delivered to my toilet not working in my office to the heat going out to whatever it is, those minuscule first world problems. I'm sitting here and I'm better having gone through all of that. I've, I've learned patience. I've learned compassion. I've learned tolerance. I've learned that this too shall pass. And it's not so much what happens to us in those moments. It's what we do with it afterwards. And I have to remember that. I A, have to remember, you better be damn grateful for the life that you're living today. No matter how bad it looks to you, it might look a whole lot better to somebody else. And number two, look up and say thank you every day. Every day. Because something is good right around the corner for you. I'm going to link the video below. I want you guys to go check it out. I love you, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.